Hey everyone, I need your attention for one minute. This is not one of those ads. This is something that has changed my entire life. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that this is all about personal development as the foundation for everything good in your life. And this podcast is now sponsored by Growth Day, which is the world's first all-in-one personal development app. I mean, oh my gosh, can you imagine having everything all in one place that you need to create? create the life that you want, now you can. So if you've been struggling with your motivation, your mood, your productivity, or your purpose, you have to check this out. Growth Day helps you consciously change your life and achieve your potential. It has all the self-improvement tools, motivational classes, and life coaching all in one place. So many of us want to improve our lives, but the question is how? Where do we start? What do we use? How do you get unstuck? How do you make self-improvement stick? Well, research shows how. It's when you consistently journal, track your habits, set goals, learn from empowering mentors, and challenge yourself that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful. But let me ask you something. Where do you actually do all of your personal development work? I have to tell you that over 300,000 people use Growth Day for a reason. It works. It's the world's number one software for self-improvement. Growth Day has an amazing mindset journal that I absolutely love, a habit tracker, and a goal setting system. In fact, I bet if you went to my stories this week, you probably saw me using the journaling app and telling you to do it too, because it's the first time that journaling has ever actually stuck consistently in my life because of this app. And best of all, Growth Day has live inspirational classes every single week from the world's top motivational speakers and life coaches. These are people who have impacted my life in huge ways. These are mentors who I already knew and loved. In fact, this is something that's so huge for me, you guys. I personally teach a class in Growth Day every single month, and it is one of the most fun things that I get to do, and I'd love to see you there. These classes will truly shift your life. There's always something new that you will learn. So join me in 300,000 achievers growing our lives with actual real intention. Visit growthday.com slash Lori for a free trial. Yes, you can try this for free. So go to growthday.com slash Lori and go live your best life. You guys, that's growthday.com forward slash Lori. And I can't wait to see you there. really look at where you're stopping yourself because you're focusing on you don't want to screw up or you don't want it to be you know difficult or you don't want it to be hard and instead embrace all of those things welcome to the earn your happy podcast i'm Lori harder founder of the bliss project three-time fitness world champion fitness expert and cover model turned self-love junkie lifestyle entrepreneur and author each week i'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears connect to your soul and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life business and relationships We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast. And it's time for another quickie because there's always time to fit in inspiration. And I am on the road right now. I did my book tour in Chicago on Saturday. And last night we had the book tour in Austin. So Tuesday. And I just wanted to tell everybody who was there, thank you so much. I can't even, I can't even begin to describe what it feels like to be in the room with all of you. And I'm hoping that you feel that energetic exchange in the exact same way as I do. And something that came out of yesterday's book tour uh, seemed to be something that really hit for a lot of people. And I had said from the stage a mantra for everybody who ends up stopping themselves from doing the things that they want to do. Because when I asked the question, who in here has goals? Who in here has something that they want to be doing in their life? In all of these rooms, 
pretty much everyone raises their hands. And I think the people who don't raise their hands just forgot to raise their hand. Um, or maybe they're in a place where they can't quite think of that yet because they're getting through something. And one of the mantras that I have for you today is, I'm going to leap. It's going to be messy. And that is going to be perfect. I'm going to leap. It's going to be messy. And that is going to be perfect. Because we stop ourselves in thinking of what we don't want to happen. And today I want you to think of what you do want to happen and to remember that messy is a part of it. It's actually the thing that's going to help you become the person who's going to become a master at the thing that you wanna do. It's so vital to be messy in the beginning. That's some of the best parts because that's the parts that tell you where you need to get more strength, where you need to do a little more work, where there is a need that needs to be met and needs to be filled. Like we don't get the good ideas if it's not messy. We don't actually get to understand how powerful we are if it's not messy and we don't have problems to overcome. So really look at where you're stopping yourself because you're focusing on you don't want to screw up or you don't want it to be you know difficult or you don't want it to be hard and instead embrace all of those things. So in life everything is just one perspective shift away from you becoming the person that you want to be. Don't get me wrong. There's going to be a lot of action there, but a lot of you are stopping before you even do the action because you're talking yourself out of it. So you are one perspective shift away from embracing the pain or embracing the problem, or embracing that thing in order to start moving forward. And you guys are getting stuck on the little things. I get stuck on the little things too, I totally get it. But there are bigger problems to worry about. You're just worrying about the wrong problems. So if you're taking something personal, or if you're stuck in worrying about people's opinions, like those aren't the problems that are ever gonna get you anywhere. Ask for bigger problems. Literally, pray for a bigger problem so that you can solve it and stop focusing on the BS that is stopping you from one perspective shift and one small action step moving toward what you wanna do. So. A lot of us are so stuck in those thoughts that we're not even doing the things that would move us forward, like creating a deadline, like actually getting specific on a goal, like just entering a question into the Google search bar. And I'm not even kidding you. Like some of you wanna start a podcast or some of you want to start a blog and you're literally telling yourself that you don't know how and you're believing it. When we have Google, like I always just put it in to see what does this actually look like? What would it look like if I wanted to start this? How long does this process take? Who's got the answers for this? Who should I start paying attention to? Who should I start following? And just by starting to follow people and start seeing the path, it becomes less scary. But some of you are so stuck in it that you're not even taking the action to make the path less scary. The more knowledge that you get, the more that you see someone else take a path, the more that you really look for, wow, what were some of the things they screwed up on? wow, they weren't perfect when they started. Like, These are the things that you need to look at in order to start taking that first step. So I really want you to start embracing that mantra today. And let me know if you're using it. I'm going to leap, it's going to be messy, and that is going to be perfect. You guys, that mantra is so freeing because all of the time, we just need permission. All of the time, we just need our own permission. Give yourself permission today to screw up, Like I've talked about before, give yourself permission to offend people. Give yourself permission to be you in public. Give yourself permission to not let it be perfect because nobody even wants that anymore. And then give yourself permission to forgive yourself when you do screw up. Because in order to put yourself out there, you're gonna screw up. You're gonna look stupid. You're gonna do something wrong. You're gonna offend someone. Um, You're gonna look like an idiot at some point. You're gonna have to say, I'm giving myself grace. I'm dusting myself off and I'm starting again. I do this all of the time. Don't be afraid of that pain. It doesn't really last that long and you grow from it. That's how I have gotten so incredibly strong and there's still spots that I need to get so much stronger in is because I've just said whatever comes, whatever pain comes, I'll embrace it and it was for me and I'll just process through it and I can get through anything, right? Embrace that mantra, I can get through anything. Yeah, you're gonna feel pain, but you can get through anything. So I'm sending you guys so much love today. Don't stay in the suffering because pain is inevitable, suffering 
is so optional and pain's gonna happen, but you don't have to stay in it. Get yourself a set of bigger problems to solve so that you can actually make some impact in your life, love who you are, and make some impact in the world. So you guys, if you love this podcast, all I ask is that you share it with a friend or uh, rate, review, whatever you wanna do, but it means the world to me to get this podcast out because these are messages that we need to hear because I believe when incredible people start taking action, the world starts to shift. And that's what we need to do is have the most amazing people in the world not be afraid of failing and of the pain and of people criticizing because that's all a part of it. So we got to band together. So until next time, earn your happy. Bye, everyone. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest thought, an honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday. I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back. And I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Want to know a huge secret to my success? Okay, not only my success, but just about every single person that I have interviewed on this podcast who is successful has this in common. You guys, they love to journal. They capture their life lessons and what they're grateful for. But a lot of people don't keep this up consistently. And most people do know that the research shows that journaling deepens your gratitude and increases self-awareness. But did you also know that journaling decreases stress and helps you achieve your goals faster? 
In fact, journaling is a huge differentiator between average performers at work and high performing people. It leads to longer term clarity, confidence, and success. So why don't more people journal? Why didn't I journal consistently? Honestly, they don't like staring at a blank page. It's hard to carry a book around with you or a notepad, and they just don't even know what to write about, or they just forget. That's why I know that you're going to love Growth Day. It's the world's number one system for self-improvement, and it's like all-in-one personal development in an app. And it has an awesome digital journal, and people love it. Growth Day's digital journal has hundreds of research-backed writing prompts for self-reflection, positive mindset, confidence building, and success. I use them all the time, and it makes me think in ways that I typically don't, and it makes me ask myself better questions, which we all know gets better results in our lives. It even has prompts that help you develop a daily, weekly, or monthly habit of reflecting on your life and identifying areas to grow. So it's a perfect time of year to start journaling, you guys. When you sign up at Growth Day, you also get systems for habit tracking, goal setting, and scoring and improving every area of your life. Best of all, I get to teach there too, you guys. I'm so excited. I hope that I get to see you. I teach live in Growth Day every single month with a new topic just for you. So join me there. Start your free trial at growthdate.com slash Lori. Hey, I know if you're listening to this podcast that you have big dreams and big goals. And one of the things that can really stop you is struggling with your marketing. Trust me, I have been there. Are you using 10 different systems just to build your online business? Then I want you to try Kajabi. Kajabi helps you build your web pages, set up funnels, and sell your courses, content, coaching, or communities. You've been hearing me talk a lot about funnels on this podcast and the importance of your email list. You can get a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. I've talked about Kajabi before, but here's something that's super cool and new. They just rolled out an AI assistant for creating your online course curriculum. And this means you just type in a topic that you want to create on a course or webinar and bam, it just generates a sample outline for you. It takes a ton of the hard work away. Of course, you're going to customize it to be your own, but this really helps you get over the struggle of how in the world to start which is where most people stop. If you're like me, starting is always the hardest part and that's what makes Kajabi so popular. They've made it easier for creators to build web pages, build courses, build coaching programs, build membership sites, build checkout pages, and build email funnels. So if you're struggling with any of those, you gotta go check it out. Go to kajabi.com. Kajabi was really the first all-in-one system and is trusted by over 100,000 creators. I think that's good enough for me. Also as influencers and marketers who use this. And now their smart AI platform makes it easy to take what you know and turn it into an online course and business. Go start building with a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com.